Hey guys, today I've got a real versus fake video for you um, and it is on the NYX liquid lipstick or sorry the NYX lingerie which is their matte liquid lipstick which I absolutely love. So I've got the real one here which I'll keep on the right or my left and the fake one on this side so you know if it's on this side it's always the fake one this side the real one so I'll be comparing them I'll be showing you where, where to look for if you're concerned you've got a fake one um, and also I'll be actually comparing the formula by putting them both on my lips so I hope you enjoy and yes I'll just get into this straight away so first of all the price um, I got this one from eBay and this one from Boots the, um, so yeah the real one from Boots that was seven pounds and the fake one from eBay that was 99p so a real bargain if it was a, if it was actually exactly the same quality as the real one. Let's go over the packaging first. Okay, so first of all, the biggest thing that I noticed when I got my fake one is that the text with the logo and, you know, is a lot bigger than the real one. So it just looks quite um, clearly bigger. However, if you were to just receive a fake one, not having a real one, you wouldn't necessarily know if the text was bigger or not. Something that you can look out for um, if you don't actually have a real one at all. Um, in my case, on the fake one, under the NYX logo, you don't get this part. So on the real one, you get a little heart under the Y, and then it says professional makeup whereas that isn't on the fake one at all, so that is a way you can just check straight away if you've got a real one. However, I have said um, in my other real versus fake videos that there will be different fakes out there, so a fake one might actually have that little logo, but it is a good way if you do find one without that logo, it will definitely be fake. The next big telltale is on the, is on the lid where it says the colour. So surprisingly it's actually the fake one which has the colour on it. The real one, it won't say the colour, it'll just have this number 12 or yeah number on that. So I'm pretty sure that all of the all the real ones will just have this little sticker on it and not the actual name. I'm not 100% on that so if you are able to check in your boots or um, I guess if you're in America, Sephora, whatever. Next it's quite hard to see, so I've now got the fake one on the top and the real one on the bottom. Um, as you can see, the fake one, the text is different. I don't know how to explain the actual, like how it is different, but it is clearly different. You can just tell the layout of the text um, and the font and just, yeah, how it's typed is different on the fake one. Next, another really obvious one that you do need both of the bottles to compare is that the real one the it's actually a bit skinnier than the fake one so looking at them there you can see that the the barrel it's it's quite subtle but it's a little bit skinnier on this one but they are both the same height i can feel the lid on the fake one is a bit longer the curve you get on the real one is a lot more yeah curvy than the than the fake one it's just quite flat so i'm going to get these on now so you can see exactly yeah what the difference in formula is and i've just kind of realized that i haven't even said the color that i got both of these in you probably saw when i was like doing a close up but i've got both of these in the shade exotic so yeah, we'll be seeing how close the fake one got to the real one shade. Now I'm just gonna quickly open these so I can quickly show you the different differences in the wands. Um, so yeah, first of all, I'm gonna open the real one and you can see there, so I've still got these like completely like level, um, that these are quite different with the real one. It's quite a long bit you get here and then, yeah, whereas this it's just like almost half the size from the little bezel part. <laughs> All right, and yeah, wands are completely different. Okay, so on the real one, it's longer, uh, skinnier, whereas on the fake one, it kind of looks like the wand you get with the Kylie Cosmetics um, lip kit. So first of all, I'm going to put on the real one on this side. Okay. 
Okay, so that is one side done with the real one. And it's so weird, I feel like it makes this side, this half of my face, look really like completely different. Never mind, I'm gonna get the fake one on now. Okay, and that is one layer of the fake one on there. So this is kind of, this is a little bit awkward because the fake one actually looks really, really good. And it's really, really close to the color as well. Um, I don't really know what to say because like, it's actually really surprisingly, like it feels really high in quality, which is really, very surprising and it's like drying at the same rate as well it applied really nicely like if you've seen my past two um, real versus fake videos on liquid lipsticks I've done one on the Kylie Jenner lip kit and Jeffree Star this is the best fake that I've tried and it's like by far the cheapest one as well like this was 99p it kind of feels like the quality is exactly the same. So they're both dry now, so I'll just zoom you in. But there you go. So you can see how both sides look. Like the, the fake is so impressive. They both look so velvety on the lips. Like the finish is very similar. To be honest, looking at them both, I can't even decide which, what, which side looks better. So that is pretty much everything I have to say about those lipsticks. They are both actually really good. Um, however, I still will not advocate you buying um, a fake NYX lipstick off uh, eBay, because you never know, you might get one 10 times worse than this. You know, there's no guarantee that you're gonna get the same one as this. Like I checked the other day and the, the listing for, the, um, for this one had actually been closed. So if I was to order it again from a I'd know the same seller or maybe they'd got a different batch you know it could be completely different safest thing is just yeah get a legit one from NYX's website or from Boots or yeah a trusted seller of NYX <laughs> anyway I hope this was helpful yeah it, it, I'm not sure how to sort of conclude this video because uh, usually I'm like oh it's not worth getting a fake one at all uh, this was awful it peels off immediately uh, but with this one it's kind of difficult I'll just say have a nice day guys bye